Hi all, welcome to this video on Terraform where we are going to discuss Terraform for beginners. We will understand the basics of Terraform along with infrastructure as a code, basic components of Terraform, Terraform versus the other tools and Terraform architecture and its command along with the workflow. So let's get started. Infrastructure as a code. So what is infrastructure as a code? Infrastructure as a code is the practice of managing and provisioning infrastructure using code instead of manual processes. Meaning, if we take an example, let's say you want to create three virtual machines. To create these three virtual machines, you'll have to log in to the console. You'll have to click on create virtual machine. Then you would have to configure details like RAM, this number of CPUs that you want to provide to it, storage and networking details. And then your virtual machines will get created. And if you want more number of virtual machines, you would have to repeat the whole procedure. That means this is the manual work too that we are doing. Now, to reduce this manual work, what we can do is we can make use of infrastructure as a code. So, in infrastructure as a code, what we do is we create a file in which we mention the resources and what are the configuration for the resources. Like, if I want to create three virtual machines, I will mention the number of CPU, the RAM, the operating system, and the networking details along with it. With this, we will be able to create multiple such resources without having to repeat the manual procedure just with the help of a file. That would be infrastructure as a code. Then Terraform. So what is Terraform? Terraform is an open source infrastructure as a code tool. So one of the most uh, you know, useful example of infrastructure as a code would be Terraform. And this Terraform tool is created by the company or the organization which is called as HashiCorp. So this is an open source and free to use tool infrastructure as a code tool which is created by the company HashiCorp. What we can do with Terraform? With the help of Terraform you can define, provision and manage infrastructure using a simple configuration language which is called as HCL. The full form of HCL would be HashiCorp configuration language. So using this HCL or you can also make use of JSON to write your configuration files and you can create your resources in multiple cloud providers with the help of Terraform. So what are the features of Terraform? Terraform is created using the Go language. It was created in the year 2014 by Michelle Hashimoto. It is an open source as we already have discussed. That means it is free to use. Then also it is declarative in nature. By declarative in nature means here we just need to declare what we want. Instead of mentioning the steps as to how to do it, here we mention that you know, or we declare what are the resources that we want and Terraform will take care of the rest. So Terraform is declarative in nature as well. Along with it, here we get multi-cloud support. Multi-cloud support means you can create resources in multiple cloud providers which are available today. Like AWS, GCP, Azure, Kubernetes, Oracle, etc. So here we get multiple advantages like it is open source, it is declarative in nature, it is multi-cloud and it uses a simple configuration language called as HCL. So what if we compare Terraform with other tools, what is the difference between all of them? Let's understand them one by one. So the first would be Terraform versus cloud formation. Now cloud formation is a tool which is used in AWS. So the difference between two of them would be Terraform is cloud agnostic. That means it is compatible with almost all the cloud providers that are available today. Whereas cloud formation works only with AWS. So Terraform would be best when you want to make use of multi-cloud or hybrid infrastructure. If I talk about the difference between Terraform and Ansible, Ansible is mostly used for configuration management. 
right where ansible can configure and manage the software on existing machines whereas terraform is used to create infrastructure so terraform and ansible go well hand in hand where you can create infrastructure with the help of terraform and you can configure the infrastructure with the help of ansible same goes for puppet and chef where puppet and chef also are configuration management tools where with the help of them you can automate the software deployment and the system configuration whereas again terraform is used to create that infrastructure now if we talk about the difference between terraform and heat heat is specific for open stack with heat you can create resources only in open stack whereas again terraform supports multiple cloud providers so from this slide we can understand that terraform works well with hybrid and multi cloud for hybrid and multi cloud infrastructure we can make use of terraform as well as terraform is used to create infrastructure or for infrastructure provisioning right this would be about the difference between terraform and other tools now let's talk about the architecture of terraform now first of all we have terraform core where terraform core consists of two main things first is the terraform configuration files and the second is the terraform state file in the configuration file you declare what you want you declare the resources that you want to create whereas the state file is a file which contains all the information about the infrastructure so in this terraform core you have two things configuration files where you write the configuration files okay where you mention the resources as well as the state file is a file which contains information about your existing infrastructure and then we have providers with terraform providers are nothing but plugins with the help of which terraform can communicate to the different cloud providers that are there and with the help of which you can create resources on those different clouds that are there. so how does it work basically how does terraform creates the architecture let's understand now let's understand how does terraform work so let's say you are an engineer where you have installed terraform in your system and you want to create resources in aws and the resource that you want to create is an ec2 instance so for that you will create a configuration file let's call it ec2.tf so this would be your configuration file in this configuration file you will mention the provider and the resource so aws is your provider and ec2 is your resource so to initialize terraform in the working directory in the present working directory the first command that you are going to run is terraform init so when you run this terraform init command terraform takes a look at the provider mentioned in the configuration file and accordingly downloads the provider plugin which are required for terraform to communicate with that specific cloud provider so in this case as we have mentioned the provider as aws terraform is going to download the plugin for aws then the next command would be a terraform plan so in terraform plan it is going to take a look at your configuration file and it will tell you which resources you are you want to create so basically what changes are happening to the infrastructure here it will show the changes that we are making to the infrastructure and if you want to apply those changes the command that you have to run is terraform apply so with the help of this terraform apply your terraform will create an ec2 instance in your aws cloud along along with the ec2 instance it is going to create one more 
file in the same location that is going to be your terraform state file the extension of which is going to be terraform.tf state so this terraform.tf states as i mentioned earlier as well it stores information about the infrastructure so currently the infrastructure that we have is an ec2 instance so this state file will contain all the information about your ec2 instance so now whenever you make a change in the configuration file if you want to add something delete something you can do a terraform plan then terraform plan is going to Terraform plan is going to compare the two files, your configuration file, which is your desired state and the state file, which is the real state. If there is a difference between the two of them, Terraform plan will show you the difference, like what changes we are making to the infrastructure. And then again, you can do a Terraform apply. Once you do a Terraform apply, it will update the state file according to the real infrastructure according to the present version of your infrastructure and if you want to delete any resource then you can make use of the command that is terraform destroy so this is how terraform works for you and creates the resources along with it it is also maintaining or managing the resources that you have with the help of the state file so the two components of this, of the terraform core as we discussed earlier would be the configuration file and your state file so this is how terraform works so this would be the architecture of your terraform now how does a configuration file look like okay how can you describe your provider how can you describe your resource let's take a look at it so to Describe a provider, it's pretty easy. You have to use the block, which is provider. And the parameter for this block is going to be AWS. And then whatever information you have about the provider, the version of the provider, the region in which you want to create the resources, some details like credentials you can mention in the provider. And the resource in this block, in the resource block, you need to mention what the resource you want to create. So if you want to create an EC2 instance, the name of that is going to be AWS underscore instance and the name that you want to provide to it. Along with it, what other details like what should be the AMI that we are going to use to create this EC2 instance and the instance type and other details you can mention in the resource block. So Terraform will take a look at the provider and download the provider plugins. And then according to the resources that you have mentioned, it will create that resource in the specific cloud provider. Along with it, it will also save the information in your state file. So what would be the workflow of Terraform? Okay, what should be the workflow? What are the steps that we have to take? As discussed earlier, first of all, you would have to define the configuration file. You would have to mention the provider and the resource or the resources basically in your tf files over here you can make use of hcl or json to write your configuration file so the first step would be to define the configuration file or to define your desired state the next would be to initialize the directory so to initialize the directory we can do a terraform in it To check the difference between the current infrastructure and the desired configuration, we can run the, we could do the third step, which is the terraform plan command. With this terraform plan command, it is going to compare your current infrastructure with the desired configuration and accordingly will show you the changes that we will need to make to the infrastructure. And then the fourth would be to do an apply. When we do a terraform apply, it executes the plan and applies the infrastructure changes so in this four steps we can say that these are this is the workflow of your terraform where you define the configuration you initialize it then you do a terraform plan and you can do a terraform apply 
Now, initialization is not mandatory every time you make a change in the configuration file. It is when you want to update or when you want to introduce a new provider or a new backend. In that case, you know, you can do a Terraform in it. But every time, like if you want to make a change in your configuration, it is not mandatory to run the Terraform in it. For the first time you can run it and then if you make a change in the provider the version of the provider or the backend then in that case you can make use of terraform in it again whereas the plan and apply can be done multiple times now let's again take a look at the uh, terraform commands we have seen the basic ones along with it there are also some more commands that one should be familiar with as a beginner these are some of the commands that you should be familiar with First of them being the Terraform init. As discussed, it initializes the working directory and downloads the provider plugin. So it will take a look at your provider and then accordingly it will download the provider plugin for you. Next would be Terraform FMT. This command formats your TF files. Okay, it makes sure that the indentations are correct. Okay, there is equal space basically to beautify your configuration files you can make use of terraform fmt so it formats the tf files to maintain code consistency there is one more command which is terraform validate terraform validates the syntax of your terraform configuration files if there is an error in the syntax then it is going to show you that error which might occur if all the configuration files are error free it will show you the message as success the configuration is valid so to validate your terraform configuration files you can run the terraform validate command then we have seen terraform plan terraform plan shows what changes will be made before applying them so it will compare your desired state with the real state and then accordingly it will show us the changes Terraform apply is going to apply the configuration to create or update the infrastructure according to the changes that we have made in the configuration file. And then to destroy the resources, you can make use of Terraform destroy. So whatever resources you uh, that are defined in the configuration, if you want to destroy them, you can run this command which is Terraform destroy. And then at the end, there is a terraform show command with this you will be able to see the current state of all the resources so if you want to view the information that is stored in the state file you can do that with the help of terraform show command okay so this will show you the contents or the information about the resources in hcl format so these are some of the basic commands that one should be familiar with so that's it in this video. I hope this was helpful to you all. And if you want more such videos, make sure you subscribe to Cloud with Shruti and hit the and uh, press the ring uh, button as well. So I hope to see you again. Have a good day. Bye bye.